Hey YouTube, it's the test lead. And today's video is entry level automation engineer interview questions part two. I'll have part one linked in the description box below and you can watch that one after this one. Here's the situation. You're just starting out in your automation engineer career and you're starting to prepare for interviews. Remember, it's never too early to prepare for questions that you can possibly see on an interview. The earlier you see them, the better and more comfortable you become at answering these questions and the more confident you sound when answering these questions. Confidence is key. So question number one, what makes a test a good candidate to be automated? If the test will need to be repeated in the future, if the test is time consuming to do manually, if the test requires complicated calculations, if the test makes sure that new functionality didn't break previously existing functionality. So those are some criteria that you can use to say, hey, this would be a good automation test. Number two, what is cross-browser and cross-platform testing? Cross-browser testing is where a tester makes sure that an application or software works the same way as expected on different browsers. Some browsers might include Safari, Firefox, Google Chrome. So the same expected behavior should exist in each different browser. Cross-platform testing is the same concept where you make sure that an application or software works in different operating systems. So let's say it works in Linux or with a Mac OS or Windows. It should have the same expected behavior on each operating system. Number three, what is the automation testing pyramid? Usually there are three different types of automation tests. There's unit tests, which should be at the bottom of the pyramid, then integration tests, which should be in the middle, and then full end-to-end -end tests, which should be at the top. This should be the most unit tests because they're the easiest to write. And then integration tests, because those are a little bit more time consuming than unit tests. And then full end-to-end -end tests are the most time consuming and most costly and the most fragile. So you should have the least number of those. And if you put that shape together, you get a pyramid. Remember, unit tests should be the most, followed by integration tests, followed by full end-to-end -end test or system testing. As you go up the automation pyramid, tests are slower because more pieces are being pieced together for the test. Unit tests are just testing a small method or something like that, whereas a system test is testing a full workflow and business logic. What are some advantages and disadvantages to using Selenium for automation? Some advantages are, it is open source and free to use, the large user community for support, cross-browser testing and cross-platform testing that we previously spoke about. Some disadvantages, no desktop or mobile application support for testing and no phone number that you can just call and help with support. Number five, what is a automated test script? It is a short program written in a programming language to perform a set of instructions on a software or application. The purpose of this is to verify that an application or software meets a set of requirements, and this ends with a pass or fail result depending on the outcome of the test. And remember, if you didn't see part one, it'll be linked in the description box below. It'll also be shown on the screen very shortly. If you found this video helpful at all, please like, share, and subscribe. If you need help on your QA journey, check out my book on Amazon, QA Must Know Vocabulary. If you didn't see part one, check it out here. And most importantly, don't forget to learn something new today.